Hey guys, welcome back. In one of my previous videos, I teased you all with what is under this sheet. Even though it is painfully obvious at this point, let's do the unveil. Introducing the Electra Tiger Shark. This is a cruiser style bike made by Electra. We're going to go over a couple of the features and uh, just give it a good once over since no one really has done a review on this bike yet. So let's uh, have a go. First, we'll just take an overview of the styling of this bike. It is done in a World War II fighter plane type scheme. Um, more specifically, it's based off of the Flying Tiger's P40. Uh, you'll notice the distinct shark tooth and eyes, as well as this logo, which is the logo of the Flying Tigers. They've uh, added some other little custom uh, Dackles to this to make it look a little more military like you see on the front forks there as well as uh, as on the rear and then we'll go around to the other side here and the uh, scheme carries over all right so starting with the front forks they are high strength tens tensile steel um, this is actually the only steel on the bike. The rest of the bike is actually made out of aluminum, including the neck here, the frame itself, um, the molding there, and uh, even the, uh, the fork back, this fork back here, the, the tail of the bike. This is all aluminum, which makes this bike very lightweight. Um, moving along to the, the cranks, this is actually, actually an Electra uh, crank. It's got old school pedals on it to give it that vintage feel. And you see here is the uh, the Nexus shifter. And here's a close up of that Nex Nexus shifter. A close up of the hub. This is actually a three speed bike. And the shifter is on the right hand. The one Two, three. This is actually one of the most smooth shifting bikes I have I've ever owned. It's a Shimano shifter. It's very easy to use. And when you're shifting on the fly, you don't even there's barely even a click, there's barely in since we're here, we'll take a look at the grips. They are brown leather grips. And uh, they are kind of stitched. which actually matches the brown leather seat. The seat has Electra detailing on it. Pull around to the back. Where you see it does have springs. This provides for a very comfortable ride. I am a rather big guy. Uh, have a look at some of my other vlog posts to get more details on that. Uh, I find this seat is the most comfortable seat I've ever used on a bike. Uh, I can go 20 minutes, no problem, maybe stopping once, which is pretty much unheard of for, uh, for me on a bike. All right, next, let's take a look at the bell. It is included, obviously. It's done in the same style of paint scheme, although the logo isn't keeping with the Flying Tiger. Uh, it does have a very distinct sound, so here we go. Thought that was pretty neat. And last but not least, let's have a look at the tires here. They are a 26 inch uh, 235 tire, so they are uh, wider than normal. Uh, the rims are painted in a gloss olive green. It's a little darker than what the uh, actual finish on the bike is. Uh, and the finish on the bike is in a flat uh, olive drab. Um, and it looks really nice that they used white rubber for the tires here. There's a shot of the uh, front fender and tire. 
and a shot of the rear fender and tire. And that is the Electra Tiger Shark 3i. Oh, and by the way, 3i just stands for the fact that it is a 3 speed. Take it for a ride. So, here we are riding. I absolutely love this bike. It is so comfortable. And that is the reason I bought this bike. The second reason being the styling of it. I used to have a really nice Norco Bigfoot mountain bike. And the thing was awesome, but with my size, it was just so uncomfortable to, to ride. Um, my seat hurt quickly. I was forward in the, in the CD position, so my wrist and my hands would uh, get very sore very quickly. I find on this, I'm very upright in my seated, seating position and very little, um, very little pressure on my hands and my wrists. So it is an absolute dream to ride. Um, the shifting is really nice. We're going up a bit of a hill here, so let's just downshift. Now, second. And we're gonna go up a bit of, down a bit of a hill here, so third. There we go. Let's get back to second here. And this is just a nice cruising bike. Like I'm not winning any land speed records on this thing by any means. Which is different than my mountain bike where I just try to go as fast as possible. Um, this thing is just meant for chill riding. With the big seat on it, I can get about 20, almost 30 minutes of riding time maybe stopping once or twice, which is about 10 times longer than what I had on my mountain bike. So if you're looking for a bike that's very comfortable, you're not in a hurry getting anywhere, you want something that's rather stylish, definitely check this bike out. It's rather pricey. Um, at the end of the day, you know, it's a good quality bike. Um, you know, I'm a little under 400 pounds, well, a bit under 400 pounds, and it seems to be doing just fine with my weight on it. So it's a very, it's a very well-built bike, and uh, I'm getting a lot of enjoyment out of it. I find I'm using it almost daily, looking forward to using it almost daily. And if there was a bike that hurt me, or I wasn't really interested in it, uh, I barely moved this thing out of the garage, but we've already put a lot of miles on it, so. Uh, last but not least, you're probably wondering where the brakes are. Well, in this model, the, the brakes are reverse pedal. and they're very effective. I was a little worried I've never had a bike with reverse brakes on it since my old BMX when I was a child. And uh, it's, it was pretty quick getting used to. There are versions of this bike uh, that do have a brake lever on the left-hand side, but uh, those are actually, I think, were much more expensive than this model. And honestly, the novelty of a reverse brake is pretty cool. I, I really enjoy that. And uh, they're very effective, so. Um, downside of this bike, if we're going to weigh the pros and cons, I'd have to say price being the big one, but I think in this case you do get what you pay for. Um, it does squeak a bit, but I think that's just to do with my weight and uh, pushing it around with the, the heavy load. I don't know if someone lighter than me will even experience that. Um, pros to the bike, it's an awesome bike. It's comfortable, stylish, I absolutely enjoy riding it. So. I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, subscribe to my blog and check out my Facebook page, Mike Babs YYC. And uh, hope to see you on the cycle path.